yelling and screaming at people. And so, uh, shortly after I got out, I heard about the Appalachian Trail. And um, the people that I talked to, I asked them, uh, how could you ever take six months off of life? At the time, I was married. I had a house. I had a car. I had a job. And I didn't understand how you could take off six months of your life and uh, just go for a walk in the woods. So about 10 years later, um, I had some difficulties in life. I had a stroke in my eye. I lost partial vision. And it was all due to stress. And uh, I knew I had to do something to uh, relieve the stress. So I went for a walk in the woods. I didn't own a house anymore. My car was paid off and I wasn't married. I found a way. 10 years later, but uh, it's easy to do. Um, So uh, the talk is supposed to be about tales from the Appalachian Trail, uh, but I sort of want to deviate a little bit because it is uh, what brought me to the trail that what I think is important in life. And that is um, the, your value system, our value system, we're money driven, we're a uh, high stress society and uh, that is uh, what took me to the trail. When I went out on the trail, I reduced my stress to nearly zero. The only uh, things that I had to worry about each day is what I was going to eat. Uh, I did go and uh, walk the entire trail as a vegan. So it was a little challenging, but uh, definitely not uh, undoable. I had to have a lot of mail drops. Uh, my girlfriend sent me things along the way, and then I could buy staples like peanut butter and stuff like that along the way. Um, but being in a high stress society, uh, I thought it was all about uh, success was about making a lot of money, having a good job, having uh, a status in life, and I found out that most of that was not as important as I thought it was. Um, used to walk about 18 to 22 miles a day on the trail, and uh, I uh, couldn't couldn't imagine. Most of us can't imagine why why would anybody do that, and. Uh, it was a good question for me. It was uh, just to take off some time to get out there. And it was actually uh, probably the best thing that I've ever done in my life. It probably saved me from a, possibly a heart attack or, or worse. Stress levels were high. While I was out on the trail, like I was saying, the only things I worried about was food, how far I was gonna go each day to the next shelter or where I was gonna camp. And the most important thing was, did I have enough toilet paper? That, that's not a big worry in life, but uh, that is an important thing you need to be concerned with. So I was a hard charging Marine. Then I was in the animal sheltering world. I managed animal shelters. I started out as a uh, animal control officer. And uh, eventually I went to work for PETA as an undercover investigator. Then I did real estate and that's what really got me in trouble. It wasn't the stress of what I saw working for, with PETA. Uh, it was actually uh, the bad uh, downturn in the market. So uh, the stress, chasing the um, almighty dollar, the stroke in my eye, and uh, in the, the real estate market at the time caused a lot of financial problems with me, which caused even more stress. I was near being homeless. Uh, someone contacted me the other day, and they wanted to do a documentary on me, heard that I was homeless. And uh, now I have this hot dog cart and uh, they thought it was an amazing story. I think it's an amazing story too, but I didn't consider myself homeless. I was out there on my own volition, but I guess there are people in the parks doing the same thing. So I, I declined on the homelessness story. Um, I don't know, <laughs> it, was, it was weird. They approached me like, yeah, we're making a documentary. So uh, maybe I was homeless, I just uh, don't know. So anyway, um, a friend of mine, before I went out on the uh, trail, and um, he talked to me, he was a Marine Corps buddy of mine, he says, Jim, I'm living the dream, I'm all excited, life is good, life is happening, I'm just so happy to be alive, and I'm like, man, I am living the nightmare. Uh, when I went out on the trail, got rid of all that stress, I was out breathing fresh air every day, seeing uh, lots of wildlife. Uh, the gentleman and I were talking earlier, uh, saw tons of squirrels, tons of deer. Um, didn't see a lot of bear. Saw about three bear and encountered no problems with them. They wanted to be anywhere but where I was. When I got up in the, uh, the northeast part of the country, 
In Maine, I saw several moose, and that made me really excited. Uh, the first one, I just saw the rear end of a moose, and uh, I really wanted to see a moose. Saw them on the side of the road, but it's not the same. I wanted to see them in the wild, so I got that opportunity. <coughs> so my friend told me he was living the dream. I told him I was living a nightmare. When I went out on a trail, I adopted the slogan, I'm living the dream. My trail name was Vegan. And I said, uh, you know, I am vegan, and people would ask me every day, what do you eat? Is it hard? Where do you get your protein? The same questions most vegetarians encounter every day, but I met new people each and every day, and I had these questions posed at me. And um, it was very nice talking to the people. The crowd was uh, usually uh, the age group of 23 and a little higher, just out of college. There was the uh, retired age group of 60 plus. They, they retired from their jobs and were able to take that six months off. And then there was the group like me that's in the middle somewhere and some guy told me I didn't fit the uh, category of a through hiker because of my age. And I agreed with him. So I was out there living the dream and I really was. Um, it was really nice. It was the best thing I've ever done. Uh, it was very exciting. It was uh, breathtaking. The places that I went, looking over mountains and beautiful fields, every day uh, I looked around and saw beauty. When I was here, we get lost. You know, we live right in Florida. There's beautiful palm trees, beautiful blue skies, and we're going to work and we forget that. And you can have someone come visit you and they say, wow, look at the palm trees. The sky's so blue. And we're caught up in regular life and we don't even see it. So take time to smell the roses, take time to look around and enjoy yourself.